In my introduction of the X board, I had mentioned the highlights that we have expanded the capabilities with both the AuxMav port and the AltMav port. I want to discuss that in a little bit more detail at this point. So to do that, I'll first point out the two point, the, these two ports on the valve. They're right on the left-hand side of the drive piston, and they are labeled AltMav or AuxMav. That stands for Auxiliary Mav, MAV, which is Motorized Actuated Valve, or the AltMav motorized actuated valve. Now, in the previous version, the AltMav port, which is the one closest to the drive piston, was only able to be used as a no hard water bypass, the alternate A or alternate B systems. We have added to this port all of the features that were previously on the AuxMav port in addition to those features. Also on the AltMav port, you will have a choice in programming to set it for the integrated valve because when you use the integrated valve with an X AQ board, it's the AltMav port that will drive the auxiliary function with that integrated valve. But it's very important to understand these expanded capabilities because if you're building an, a system that has more than one MAV used for functions such as blow down or fill, you can now have two of them set, for example, on time clock. We've also added the capabilities to each one of them where you can have intervals within the same day. So you can have multiple events of either a blowdown of a contact tank, for example, or the filling of an auxiliary tank. So make sure you refer to the guide so that you can see how the programming is done on both of these ports and that you can understand the full capabilities with each one.